اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمدللہ رب العالمین والصلاة والسلام على اشرف المرسلین سیدنا و نبینا و مولانا محمد صلی اللہ علی و آلی و سلم یا رب صلی صلاة کا العزمہ علی النبی کا العظم سلم سلاما تاما يتسلسل إليه من كل يوم إلى صدة المنتهى وعلى آل وأصحابه حق قدر يوم قدار العظيم All praises are due to Allah سبحانه وتعالى All salutations, all appreciations All recognitions are due to Allah سبحانه وتعالى I thank Allah سبحانه وتعالى at this moment and thank Him at all time Viewers, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu May the peace and blessings of Allah be upon you as you watch this program today from Umma TV. I am here to discuss a concept, and the concept is at-taqwa, the piety, consciousness of Allah, fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is what I want to quickly look at. Uh, listeners, we all, we all agree with me that this Allah we are talking about is an invisible God. You cannot see him except with the inner eye. And when you know his presence everywhere, you have to be conscious of him. You have to fear him. You have to be a pious Muslim so that you can be recognized in the sight of Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Number one, what is piety? What is a taqwa? A taqwa is having the fear of Allah in all we do. Having consciousness of Allah in all we do, in and out, day and night, alone and in the midst of people. A husband has to fear Allah as regards to his wives. A wife has to fear Allah as regards to the husband. Parent has to fear Allah, has to be conscious of Allah when it comes to the dealing with their children. Children has to fear Allah. Imam must fear Allah over his follower. The followers must fear Allah concerning their imam. The leads and the leaders, the led and the leaders must fear Allah. They must reciprocate fear of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. In a broad way, there are four factors that describe fear of Allah. Four factors. There are four points that describe what is called piety as far as Islamic monotheism is concerned. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has always mentioned the word taqwa in Al-Quran. In every part of the Quran, you must always find the word taqwa. Wa takuni ya ul al-albab. Taqullah hakka tukatihi. La'allah kunta takun. And the rest of them. The four factors that best describe the word taqwa are number one, khawful jalil. Number two, al-amalu bitanzil. Number three, al-ridu bil-qalil. And number four, al-isti'idadu liyawm al-rahim. These are four factors that describe the concept of taqwa as far as Islamic monotheism is concerned. The first one is khawful jalil, having fear of the sublime, the one that can do and undo, the alpha and omega, the simple and delicate. That is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You must have fear of him. You must be conscious of him. You must always think along with him how he could deal with you if you misbehave, how he can reward you if you behave yourself. How full jalil, the, the, meaning al -jalil, the meaning of al jalil here is the sublime. Who can deal with you? Who can do and undo? The Alpha and Omega. He can question your actions. No one dare question his action. That is why we use the word khawful jalil. When you sleep, you must have fear of Allah. When you wake up, you must have fear of Allah. When you are driving in the hobbies, at home, anywhere you are. That is why Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, says in the 30th and now we collection, Takullaa haythuma kuntu. Wherever you are, fear Allah. Be conscious of Allah. Be a pious Muslim. What they say here, Hasana, follow good with evil. Wahalikin nasa bihulkin Hasan. Deal with people around you, either Muslim or non Muslim, with good behavior. That is hopeful, Jalil. Just to give it the summary. Number two, Allah Amalu bitanzil. A pious person, someone is conscious of Allah, will act, will behave will deal in accordance with the principles and teachings of the whole Quran. Oh.